In a few days, the right wing will have its story straight about right wing activist James O'Keefe. So make sure you remember today because they haven't quite got their story straight yet. Last night, O'Keefe gave his first interview since his arrest on charges. He tried to interfere with the senator's phones, gave it to Fox News. O'Keefe still describes his action as journalism, even though his publisher denies knowledge of the plan, even though he was prodded about its wisdom by Sean freaking Hannity. Do you have any issues with the fact that this is a U.S. senator's office versus, for example, going into ACORN? And that as a U.S. senator, this is a federal building, this is federal property, you're going near federal phones. Did that enter your mind prior to going into this office? Well, I mean, generally speaking, it's the people's office. It's, it's, it, these, these are representatives of our country. And we deserve to find out if they're accepting $300 million in money. We deserve to find out what's going on, why, they're, why the people of Louisiana couldn't couldn't get through to her. Of course, most journalists know the difference between accepting money, which Senator Landrieu did not, and winning funding for your constituents, which she did. O'Keefe need not consider such critiques because, of course, the media is out to get him. Are you now calling on the rest of the media that you feel is wrongly reported this mm -hmm. because they didn't have any of the facts and they ran with this and they tried to politicize it? Do you think that was because of your acorn work, number one? And I I'm probably willing to bet that it was. Shepard Smith, the day after O'Keefe's arrest, quote, it sounds as if what they're saying is they're looking for some acorn hanky-panky and they try to tap into Mary Landrieu's telephone to get it. O'Keefe's patron and everything but this, Andrew Breitbart, didn't, should he, shouldn't he have to be forced to pronounce his name Breitbart, now says that O'Keefe's prosecution is part of a Justice Department plot to avenge Acorn. O'Keefe tweeting that U.S. Attorney Jim Letton recused himself after Breitbart blew the whistle, despite the fact Letton recused himself last month. Breitbart might also want to get his accusations straight with O'Keefe, who had this to say last night. At any point were you held without the opportunity to get an attorney? I mean, I, I, just, I just don't want to get in, into that, I, honestly. You I, don't. I just don't. But your answer yeah. is, you, but you say you're cooperating with the attorneys. Yeah, the, we're, we, we have no complaints about the way the U.S. attorney is handling this case. None at all. I have no complaints. Do you have any complaints about your arrest? I have no complaints about the way the U.S. attorney is handling this. With right-winger Ben Stein writing, free James O'Keefe and others wailing about the civil liberties hell O'Keefe has endured, O'Keefe himself opened up about exactly what kind of abuse has these right-wingers crying for mom. What was it like when you got arrested? What was jail like? Uh, jail was, the food was terrible. Um, <laughs> the yeah. applesauce was like water. There you go. Let's turn to Carl Frisch, senior fellow at Media Matters. Thank you for your time tonight, sir. Thanks for having me. Uh, O'Keefe repeatedly, and Hannity helped him on this, cited NBC's Dateline and CBS's 60 Minutes as templates for what he does. Politics aside, purely as journalism, can you explain the difference to him? Well, I don't think O'Keefe would know what real journalism was if it bit him on the rear end. Mm. You know, a real investigative journalist, and perhaps he could get an internship with Mike Wallace or uh, Chris Hansen, because a real investigative journalist uh, seeks evidence, and once they get the evidence, they let that evidence dictate what their story is. O'Keefe does the exact opposite. He comes up with an idea, he seeks the evidence to prove that idea, and then he runs with it. That's not investigative journalism, uh, that's right-wing hackery. There's no question, one point that was raised in his defense, although it's kind of tangential, but some of the initial reporting on O'Keefe and the arrest in Landrieu's office turned out to be wrong, mm -hmm. including on Fox News. Using his rationale, Fox News was punishing O'Keefe for targeting Acorn? Uh, you know, it'd be funny if it wasn't so sad. Yeah. We're still waiting for, you know, uh, O'Keefe and his mentor, Andrew Breitbart, to call for corrections to the New York Post and Fox News, or Andrew Breitbart, to call for corrections to the New York Post and Fox News. You know, I bet the irony is lost on them that even Andrew Breitbart's own website ran a wire story with the incorrect information on it, and you don't see anybody yelling. I think ultimately, uh, you know, the question we should be asking is, what did Breitbart and Fox News know, and when did they know it? O'Keefe told Hannity last night that he's at work on new projects. He's already <laughs> being sued by Acorn for taping people without permission in at least one state where that literally is illegal. It clear, clear is a bright line, no pun intended there, in Maryland. He has a court date for these criminal charges on the 12th of this month. 
Um, any guidelines for his future journalism you'd like to share? Well, you know, first, I never thought I'd live to see the day uh, that a right-wing hack like O'Keefe would essentially plead the fifth mm. uh, in a softball interview with Hannity. Uh, but, you know, what it's looking like to shape up as is a wild conspiracy theory uh, where the attorney general got the U.S. attorney's office to hold O'Keefe so that they could, uh, you know, convince the entire media to come up with a story against him, all to cover for ACORN. I'm still waiting to find out where Sasquatch and Obama's birth certificate fit into this. Yeah, and it's just amazing. Apparently, they, they convinced O'Keefe to go into the senator's office with something untoward in mind, too. So O'Keefe was part of his own uh, conspiracy <laughs> theory to take himself down? Well, you know, it is the people's office, right. and <laughs> I live in D.C., and we have the people's zoo. Uh, so I'm going to have a couple friends dressed like zookeepers so I can pet a panda. Uh, you monitor media coverage. Do the same people who are demanding lawyers for O'Keefe within 24 hours make the same demands on behalf of, uh, you know, brown people sold to U.S. troops for bounties overseas? I think you're not likely to see that kind of coverage on uh, these conservative hack uh, outlets. You know, the real question here is, uh, O'Keefe told uh, a right-wing student publication that if you do this kind of stuff, if you take calculated risks, you'll be rewarded. Uh, that's the life lesson he learned from Andrew Breitbart, mm -hmm. and that's ultimately who shares in the responsibility here. Carl Frisch from Media Matters, uh, great thanks, and have a good night. You too, thank you. And you too at home. That's Countdown in the immortal words of Ted Baxter. Good night and good news. And now after witnessing the Don't Ask, Don't Tell hearing today and to... The timing on that again, is should we, I don't know how I'm doing this. It's like <laughs> lightning, and then three seconds later, there's the thunder. To interview another American hero who was about to lose his job because of this lie-based policy. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Rachel Maddow. Good evening, Rachel. Good evening, Keith. I, I, I just think of that as, as a knuckleball. It's just sort of, you know, I'm swinging, and it's a few seconds later. Let's try Watch one more time. Watch that. See? All right. All right. Nothing happened. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thank you. It's like 45 <laughs> minutes from now, you'll hear it. Thank you, Keith. See and ya. greetings to you from Washington. Um, having spent months playing defense, President Obama.